Hi there, welcome to Dodec Builds and the final part of Warp Core Wednesday. In this series I'm 3D printing and building a model of the Warp Core from Star Trek The Next Generation's USS Enterprise 1701D. In this final part I'll complete the assembly of the core, putting it all together and showing it working. So let's get on with it. To start with, you'll need to put the plug for the power supply into the base. Basically push it through the hole and then screw the back plate on. Once that's done, you just need to solder it into the board and to your LED light strip. You're attaching the power supply to both to ensure that you've got sufficient power for the LEDs. You don't want them powered from the board. All that goes from the board to the LEDs is the data signal telling them what to do. You can then stick down the seven LEDs that light up the registry on the base. I've just used electrical tape here. For the final bit of the electronics, you just need to slide the board into the bottom of the base now, if you've done what I've done here, you'll see that it doesn't actually slide in all the way. But it seems secure enough, so I'm leaving it at that. That's it for the electronics, now on to the assembly. As I mentioned in my first video, I printed the main core chamber separately from the transparent parts, because I wasn't that confident in how those two materials would print. That means I needed to glue those together. If you've printed them at the same time and not separated them, then you won't have this to do. After that, you'll want to make sure the music wire actually fits through the holes in the various parts of the assembly. Depending on your printer, that may or may not be the case. So you'll need to kind of drill them out to make sure that the music wire goes all the way through. I got an electric modelling drill at first to do this. However, I found because it was running too fast, it was actually heating up the PLA and melting it, which meant it got stuck and it got all gooped up in PLA as well. Definitely to be avoided. I switched to drilling by hand using a drill that I use for drilling out the barrels of guns on Warhammer 40k miniatures. Make sure you go through all the holes with the drill and check as you go, ensuring the music wire fits. And that's basically the preparation done. Carefully slide the core parts over the LED baffles. You want to make sure you don't snag any of the wires as you go, else you'll be doing a resolder job. It's easiest if you hold the side LEDs, which are kind of loose on the back, so in the gap that's been made for the wires to run through. That keeps them out of the way. There's not a lot of space otherwise. When it came to the chamber, I found it easiest to get the side parts out using tweezers, just dragging them through the holes and then assembling the sides. After that, the upper assembly is pretty much the same as the lower. The final touch is threading the music wire through. Take this slowly, especially for the chamber, because it can be a bit fiddly, so you might have to lift it up and then reinsert. However, if you drilled the holes out previously and test fitted, this should be pretty painless. Cut off the tops of the music wire, and then you're done. On reflection, I probably should have actually cut the music wire to size before doing this, because I've ended up with some little sticky out bits at the top, which mean that the top of the core doesn't actually sit on flush. At some point, I'll come back and tidy that up. And that's it. Now to see it in action. Pretty awesome, right? I am so pleased with the end result here. This is something that I thought was quite ambitious. I was a bit nervous approaching it, but to actually get this result at the end, fantastic. I hope you've enjoyed this series and you found it useful. 
If you've topped in at this part, then you can see the playlist to see the other stages of this build, including some troubleshooting and problems I found along the way. If you've attempted this build, or you're going to, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and bye bye